Coming up into what is now, I guess, the chicken stall, because the agers got moved out into this larger area. So now I'm coming in here to clean out the brooder, which is full of their waste for about, what, five or six weeks they've been in there. So it's time that I get in there, clean that out, and then I'll be able to put in the meat chickens up here with some fresh bedding. Oh, pup, you just going to hang out with the chickens? It's nice that puppy's being able to be a good boy and just hang out with the eggers all the time. That way I don't have to keep them out. Just came upstairs because I heard something. Brought this crowbar thinking it's a wild animal. Buddy. And, oh, where'd you go? Echo, back up. Rev. Rev. Come here. Come here. Echo. Echo, back up. Gotta let him out. Rev. There's a chicken in here. What are you doing up here, chick? Back up, we need this chick out. Come, seat, seat. Life. What are you doing, chick? I need you to come out, chick. Hey, what are you doing? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Hey, come here. Come here. There you go. Buddy! Good, buddy. Buddy. Poppy, be a good boy. Buddy. You need to catch this chicken. Buddy. There's a chicken trapped in the top of my barn. Puppy. We gotta herd this chicken back down to the group. I thought I was counting. Echo, you, you're not helping, bud. Zit, zit. Life. Come here, chick. All right, I'm gonna have to catch this chicken. I'll let you know when I get it. All right, we got him integrated back into the flock. A little one wandering away. I think it might be time to clip these chicks' wings so they don't actually fly out of their pen anymore. Might clip them because I'm gonna be putting them, in, uh, the meat chickens in here, and I don't want these big girls picking on my little meat chickens. Took one load out already. I'm just wedging the wheelbarrow in the doorway so the chicks can't get out. And cleaning out the brooder. You can see how thick it is. Good four inches thick in some places. Actually, pretty much all places, it's four inches thick or better. It'll take probably two wheelbarrow loads. Good heaping wheelbarrow loads. And this is a big wheelbarrow too. So uh, yeah. Get this all cleaned out, some fresh bedding in there, and it'll be ready for the meat chicks. Oh, puppy, you helping out? All right, it is the next day, and we're coming up here with the eggers so we can get this brooder box, or barn brooder here, ready for the chickers. Got it all cleaned out yesterday, and now I just have to throw in some fresh pine shavings to get it ready. Echo, you're not doing your job. Why is there chickens out of the brooder, puppy? We get the chickens. No, you see, these ones are still in here. We got two out here trying to see what a pig is. Huh. You got a chicken, a puppy, and a pig. <laughs> you puppy. You get these eggers back in their spot. Come on, eggers. I don't need you pooping out here. Yeah, get back in. Good boy. Good boy. Now keep them in here, pup. All right, we got a nice, nice fresh layer in there. I just have to bring up the chickers, bring up their food and water. We're all set again. Ah, right, puppy. You gotta get that one out of there, buddy. You get her out of there. No, you don't go in there either. Okay, that's better, good boy. Keep the eggers out of there. Until we get the eggers wings clipped, I'm probably just going to clip one of, one side, so one wing on each chicken, and that'll keep them from flying. Hopefully it'll keep them from flying up and over and intermingling with my meat chickens. They're different sizes, so I just don't want them, the bigger ones, picking on the smaller ones. 
puppy. I'm gonna move these meat chickens up to this brooder and that's gonna be where they live for the rest of their lives. Hopefully I'll be able to get them outside and they'll be able to actually experience some scratching and stuff out there, but for now they're gonna be living in here just like the acres are. And just like the pigs are. Hey pigs. Hey pigs. I've been hand feeding the pigs, so uh, they've been loving me every time I come into the pen. So, uh, pigs. We got Zeus, the twins, and little pig. We'll see how they grow up, but he's the smallest for now. It does look like you need some food, huh, pigs? I'll get you some. Hey, pigs. You're just all over me now. Now you've got scratches, huh? You'll take some pettings now. Doing some hand feeding. You don't run away from me as much anymore. Let's feed, fill up your bowls, though. You guys enjoy pooping on the walls, though, don't you? They have been doing a lot better. Since I cleaned it all out the first time, most of their poop in the uh, bathroom is over here in the corner by the clean out gate, which is just perfect. Every day I just throw a little bit more sawdust on there to keep it uh, pretty dry, but uh, at the end of the week I'll come in and clean out that whole corner. Just following me around, little piggies. Huh. Following me around because you know I'm getting your food bowl. Echo, what the heck? Do I you are not doing your job, buddy. You got to get those chickens back in there, pop. We got the door open over here. We could lose the chickens completely. All right. All right, you got the rest of them in there, pop? Good job. I'll get the bard rock. What are you looking at, Zeus? No, buddy. Where are you going? Hey. Chicken. See, we would have lost them. We would have lost this bard rock. Why are you trying to escape, buddy? See, this is the problem here. What's going on? I know, we got a free free running chicken puppy. Body. We gotta get her back in there. Alright, she's back in. We're shutting the gate, buddy. You're staying in too. I gotta go get the other chicks before we have any more escapes. No, oh, but the pigs need fed. Back up, pigs. Back up, pigs. There you go, guys. You got full bowls now. Have at it. I think I stepped in pig poop. I'm bringing treats tonight, huh? I got some other things to do. Here we are in the shed brooder again. You can see I have the heat lamp off for these chickers because it's hot outside today. It's a nice, sunny, beautiful day out there and these chicks don't need any heat. I have them all caged up with this wire shelving blocked off here so they don't jump out because they're getting big. They have been jumping up onto the ledge here so I had to raise up the cage so they can't get out. You can see they're peeking out. Look at that cute little face. So yeah, they still have ugly, ugly bodies, but they're starting to get a little bit of white feathering. You can see that one. They're just so fat. Here, I can pop one of these down so we can actually take a look. Look at these chicks. They are three and a half weeks old now, so they only have five weeks to go, maybe even less. Look at them. Look at that butt. They're ridiculous. These things are just monstrosities compared to what the egg chickens were. So we're growing these out and we got to get them up to the barn because this area is getting small for them. It's getting hot and this area is not very well ventilated. We're inside a metal building here so I want to get these chickers up to the barn so they have a little bit more air and it's a lot cooler in the barn because it's a bank barn so half of it's underground and that keeps it a lot steadier temperature in there during these hot days. So I'm going to catch these and throw them in the tote like I did last time. I think I'm going to be doing two trips because these guys got real big. It's a hot day and I don't want them dying in the tote on the way up to the barn. We'll see how it looks whenever I throw them into the tub, see if it looks like there's room or not. But look at that chest. That thing just hanging off that chicken. Is that right? What are you doing? They're so fat. They are so fat. But we're gonna get these chicks up to the barn as safe as I can. Like a bird on a tree. 
I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems Hi. small You guys ready to move? We can sit to the place all set up for you. Come on, who's trying to It's so beautiful. Buddy. You and me. Like we meant to be. <laughs> in the great outdoor. Forever free. Who's going to do the six? Me. We're gonna take the mower out, pup. What? No, you're not driving. What eat, puppy? What eat? Hey, stay back. Pigs. What do you think, pigs? We got new animals. Yep, more animals moving into the barn, eggers. Yep, they're gonna be your neighbors. Alright, how you doing? How you all doing? How you all doing? You had a long trip, huh? Come on. Don't crush your buddies. Don't crush your friends, come on. Everybody goes, everybody goes. Puppy, get down. Everybody goes. You too, guy. You too. Everybody goes. All right, that's one load. We'll be right back, Eggers. Oh, you doing the dirty? Yeah, that's how you poop on the wall. You back right up against it. You gotta go back down to the shed, puppy. The shed, puppy. All right. Anybody escape? No. Buddy. I just have four more so I'm just gonna make two trips of four instead of trying to cram all eight into the tote oh, what are you doing Hagers you all huddled up you brought your friends you stand up stand up and go Guys, just hang out for a minute. I'll get the other four and your water and your feed. What are you doing, Eggers? You scared? Oh, they're stretching their wings already, getting some extra space, running.
Looks like the eggers are all huddled next to the door here where the chickers are. Come on, one last load. Puppy? Hey. Lot heat. Lot heat. I'm gonna scare him. Get back. Nick! Get back. Out. Puppy, you're gonna scare them. They haven't seen you that close yet. Oh, there's still one in there. Get out. All righty, we got all the chickers moved up here now. That is awesome. I'm actually thinking I might leave this tote in here for now. That way if we have a chilly night down in the 40s, they can all huddle together. And here's your water. Well, maybe. Where's that cap? Alright, there's your water. And their feet's kind of out of reach. I gotta lower that. There we go. I really just use whatever I have available. There's this giant spring that I've been saving to use on like a door, maybe the chicken coop door. It's real flexible. But uh, for now, it's gonna work as a chain lengthener for the chicker's feeder. They are all set up in their bigger brooder here where they were supposed to be all along. And the eggers are all still stuck in here. At least you got a bigger spot, eggers. We'll be moving you out into uh, the chicken coop once I get that built. But I'm holding off on the chicken coop until I can get some help cutting the metal siding. It's kind of long sheeting and I can't handle it all by myself. So I'm waiting for a little bit of help to cut all the metal siding, get the walls and the roof on the chicken coop, and then I'll be able to get the floor done, box it off. Even if I put a temporary door on it, I'll at least be able to get these eggers out into their chicken coop so they have a little less space than this stall gives them, but at least that'll be where they're supposed to be. And then I'll be able to fence in a little enclosure for them to get some outside time. These little chickers are going wild on the feeder. I think I need to raise it up actually a little bit. Let me open this. Yeah, let me raise it up a hair for them. They're gonna get all mad. There we go, that's a little bit better. Try and keep it clean for them. All right, Echo Pup, you get some time with the chickers? Don't bite. Don't bite. Don't scare them to death either. Just sniffing, buddy. Just sniffing. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you got new chickers to protect, puppy. Echo Pup really gets loud whenever I'm moving the chickens. Anytime I pick them up, he thinks he can bite them. But as long as they're on the ground, he doesn't really bother them too much. He chases them around, sniffs them, but he's really good with these chickens. I can't ask for it really any better. Come on, puppy. You just like being with your chickens, don't you? You gotta make sure they don't escape, though. All right, Echo. Out. Echo, come out. Come on. You're done playing right now. Yeah, we gotta leave these ones go. Let them get comfortable and acclimate to their new area. Because this is gonna be their new home for the rest of your lives, chickers. We got Spot that I just rescued from the meat brooder. But the egg chickens are all up here. Little weirdos. You got all this other roof space. What are you doing all up there? These guys are cold or something. Got a few of them in the box. 
the rest of them out. What up, pigs? How you guys doing? How you guys doing, pigs? Huh, Zeus? Huh, Zeus? How you doing, buddy? Huh? I don't have quite names for the other ones. This is a little pig. We got a little pig, Zeus, and then the other two. One's real weary of me. Look at him. Yeah. One's a little bit weary of me. I'm up here now to clip the wings of these egg chickens, so, or just one wing of the egg chicken so they don't fly anymore. I want to keep these egg chickens from intermingling with my meat chickens which they seem to be doing well right now. They're definitely curious. What are you saying? I wanna come in here and clip their wing anyway, just so whenever I do get them outside, they won't be flying over a four foot fence. It should help out for a couple weeks, but we'll see how easy it is. I might only get one or two, and then uh, it might be too hard, so. Buddy, all right, all right, all right, there you go. Have at it, Zeus. What are you doing? You trying to leave? Bunch of crap in my crock now. What do you think, girls? You gonna let me clip your wing? I'm just gonna set the camera up and uh, we'll see how this plays out. All right, who's first? Who's first? Spot's the nicest one. That's the only one I'm gonna be able to catch and do that to. Huh. How are you, Bonnie? You too, Bonnie? Buddy, don't bite. Don't bite. This ain't gonna happen. Yeah, this is not gonna happen. I'm not gonna run around trying to catch all these birds in this area and clip our wing. That's just not gonna work out. Come here, Pop. What are you doing? Echo will go crazy if I start catching all these birds. No, you don't run out. Echo, come on, you're spooking them. Buddy, no. Hey, hey, come. 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 Go ahead, out. So yeah, we're not gonna be doing that. I thought I might do that in this video, but that's going to be a huge struggle that I don't feel is entirely necessary right now. These mid meat chickens are getting bigger quick, and I don't think these eggers are actually going to bother them. I've had a few of them get in there already, and they, they didn't seem to show any signs of aggression. The only problem is that they all roost up here. I did catch them roosting there at night, and... Some of them do fall off or get pushed off and then get trapped in there and can't get back out. So I might be finding them every morning in there, but we'll see how it goes. If I do need to do it, I'll get in there and do it. You saw it works on spot. I don't know if it works or not, but I was able to catch spot and uh, clip her wings. But the rest of them aren't as cooperative with me. Bonnie would probably let me do it, but... There's just no point. I got Bonnie and Spot. They're the nicest ones, but I don't see a reason in uh, clipping both their wings and then nobody else's. So we tried it, Spot. 